Hello gang, welcome to the channel and guess what? Another Gamora video. Yeah, 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 I know there being a lot of videos about Gamora. I'm thinking to drop down below in the description also a playlist about uh, all about Gamora because Gamora feels to be like Jean Grey of these days, you know, everyone want to use here, everyone want to know her output on multiple game modes. And at the moment I have released everything except ABL and now it's the moment for ABL. And the fact that she can compete with Thanos and Sadocell, it's quite impressive tag-wise, you know, because she's an alien and she can be uh, these tags, but also wherever you're shopping her uniform, she's becoming a villain. And her uniform, it's not that outdated. She was already good for Alliance Battle extreme uh, villain day with this uniform she was competing with the best of course green goblin was outscoring her uh even at level 80 as you saw but now we're going into level 80 with a decent build uh, it, it's uh, really decent i mean i have artifact i have mighty raids and i'm going to compete against thanos my thanos my thanos got couple of his blessing he is uh, a good build also and he got a mighty rage and in the same time I'm going to compare her with her new uniform against Sado Cell. Of course my Sado Cell is uh, you know overbuilt and she got like tier 4 and she got like mighty rage also. A lot of Odin's blessing. So yeah, I'm going to show you the difference between these two characters and the fact that Gamora is able to compete only two days because of her alien tag, she can't really participate on all of the speed uh, hero days, she can participate only in like one day, but in the same time, uh, the fact that she, she can compete basically against universal female also, which is Jean Grey, so there is one ABL there, there is one ABL uh, female speed, so it's two ABL and the third one she can participate, it's this one, it's alien villain. But bo two of them are with, uh, you know, the villain uniform and one is with her uh, superhero uniform. So yes, before we go through the gameplay guys, I want you to remind, I want to remind you that there is a video going on and it's released two days ago and all you have to do is go there and answer on the questions I did. Uh, it's two questions that you have to answer for things I was doing inside of this video. So go there, watch it and let me know your answer down below. And if you're lucky enough, you could win a crystal coupon and you can get 300 crystals. But also I managed to go through uh, her value in total about Gamora. Uh, before we see the gameplay, you know, I want you to make sure basically that you have smashed the like button, that you have comment, what are you going to do with this girl? Are you going to use her for ABX, ABL, World Boss Legend? What build are you going to give on Gamora? Because I feel like Gamora is a really, really useful character and I, I want you to understand the value having, you know, agility, alien, weapon master and she's usable on 25 un on 25 world boss legend when in the same time there is no other character being able to use all all these stages of course i'm counting her villain uniform here also because she is really really good with her vi vi villain uniform as a tier 4 especially but as a tier 3 also and I did put here 3 and 3, but the point is that he can be used for uh, 3 ABL and 3 ABX easy uh, because it's 2 days of ABX of the hero speed, 1 day of the villain speed and for ABL it's the villain female, it's the, it's the alien villain and also uh, the speed hero. So yeah. It, if you build here tier 4, you can outscore all of the others tier 3, you have tier 3 level 80, but if you already have 4 ABL, Thanos tier 4, I mean, no, I'm gonna show you the gameplay, so yeah, stay, let's go to see what C can do competing these two giants, Sadu Cell and Thanos, and let's start with Thanos, I guess. 
With Thanos, I use uh, support of Proxima and I'm using Corvus Glaive because Corvus Glaive gives an extra buff on Thanos and he is really useful. Loki also could be replaced in this team up, uh, Cor uh, Corvus Glaive, but it's pretty much the same thing. My Thanos as a tier 3 uh, is. Um, it was basically my best choice. I swapped my Loki into Thanos, you know, for this day. Previously, it was only Loki available on this day, but after they released Thanos, Thanos is dominating this uh, ABL and he is the MVP here as a tier 4. He's like the best character for this stage. And you can see his rotation, it's pretty easy peasy. You need to do 3 cancel 5, cancel 4, letting your 4th skill place until the end and after filling up the gaps with 2 cancel 1. When you have your tier 3, you're dropping your tier 3 and you're going through your rotation exactly the same way. You know, you're dropping the tier 3, delay cancelling it and see, until you see this black hole spawns, you know, uh, <clears throat> and after you're going into your 3 cancel 5 cancel 4, letting your 4th skill 2 cancel 1, letting your 1st skill place. That's all you need to do. And as you can see, you know, the best plan is to charge two tier threes between your Odin's Force buff, Odin's Might buff. And you want that every single time. That's the best way to ramp up your score, you know, to do the most out of every single Odin's Might buff. Because in this period of time, you want to drop as many as tier three you can. So yeah, charge your tier three before the Odin's Might and you're going to be you're gonna maximize the value of the Odin's Might buff every single time. Here, as you can see, I'm delaying my fourth skill because uh, I didn't want to miss the, you know, the error there, the thing Sorter does, basically. And he, and this is tricky, you have to wait your uh, Sorter to move and after drop your tier 3 because if you drop your tier 3 and it's exactly before the moment that uh, Sorter is going to move, he's going out of sight so you can't, you're losing all the damage of the tier 3 skill. So you want to have him into the wall, uh, basically your back want to be back on the wall and Surtur charge up to you and stuck into the wall. Most of the times that's the most efficient strategy to keep Surtur, uh, you know, uh, under control and he's not moving around. Here he moved around again. So this score, it's already 5 million and it could be way better if I wasn't losing these tier threes here and there. But you know, as I'm always doing, I don't want to play like over and over again to have perfect runs and tell you, my Thanos can do that, my Thanos can do this, my Thanos is the best, and things like that. So, Thanos, first try or something, 5.2 million uh, as, a level three, as a level 80 tier 3, and let's compare him with Gamora's output here, with her villain uniform as a tier 3 level 80. Basically, a Wagon level 80. With Gamora, the rotations uh, in the villain uniform and in the hero uniform are completely different. And you pretty much need to do uh, the same, uh, you know, thing, but it, it's swapping swapping the skills that you are ending up proc. So with this uniform, you want to do three cancel six, cancel five, delay cancel until you see her landing down with your sword, and after letting your fifth, your fourth skill place until the end. So it's three cancel six, cancel five, delay cancel into four, and letting it play until the end. But for uh, cancelling the roar, because as a tier 3 level, uh, as an Awaken level 80, she don't have any skill to cancel the roar, she don't have Fracture in her old uniform, so you want to use Thanos to do the cancelling. Uh, and Thanos is an option, but it's the best option for, uh, in my mind, you know, Thanos with his old uniform also cancelling here, so you don't really need Thanos 100% with his paywall basically with his april full uniform the crystal wall 2500 crystal uniform you don't need that you could have the old one on a sale or something to do this or you know swap into any other character that has fracture basically and being alien and as you can see here she's kind of struggling she has done only 2.5 until the middle of the fight and yes 
I mean, for these stages, if, if you don't have Loki, and you already had Gamora build it for ABL, uh, for ABX villain day, you know, as a tier three, uh, as an awakened level 80, you can have here doing all this, you know, juicy damage and no problemo, no problemo, look at this. Okay, here I cancel my fifth skill really fast. I just want to have, uh, I just wanted to have more skill, more hits on uh, before I swap into Thanos. And you can see here, she's pushing, she's pushing, but uh, yeah, here I managed to avoid his thingy there uh, and being in place. I tried to play, you know, to min max the damage I'm losing, uh, but yeah, with her old uniform, I feel like uh, she got damage, of course, but it's not that impressive. It's not that impressive uh, and you need to push if you want to see results. I mean, there is no way you can go 6 million, in my opinion, as a tier 3, level, as an awaken, fuck, a level 80. Uh, but you can see here, I'm really close at least to do the 4 million and I think I'm managing to do that. And even if it's out of Odin's force here, I did some cheeky damage in the end and I push it into the 4 million. So yeah, Gamora versus Thanos. Thanos is doing 1 million more with Clappy Slappy or rotations with Clappy Slappy runs for both. So Gamora is getting outscored from Thanos. Uh, if they have the same build, you know, both are level 80, of course. If you do Gamora tier 4 here, Gamora going to outscore your Thanos uh, level 80 100% because as you can see here, if I had an extra tier 4 skill, I would do like more than 2 more uh, two more million at least. I mean, the stat boost also is important. So yes, I'm expecting here to be better than Thanos only if Thanos is level 80. If Thanos is tier 4 and Gamora is tier 4 and Gamora is using her old uniform and Thanos used the very last uniform, Thanos is outscoring Gamora 100% as it seems. So let's go to the hero female speed or speed female, yeah, whatever. I'm going to show you my run with Shadow Cell, but guys, be polite with me, it's not like the best run. Uh, the main issue with Shadow Cell is the tracking of her fifth skill. Her fifth skill, most of the times, as soon as you start casting the fifth skill and takes like two to three seconds to end up, uh, it's uh, it's a pain because you're throwing a poison thing down in the ground, which doing which is doing the most of the damage. So this pool you need every single time to manage to have it uh, downstairs of the boss. You know, if the boss moves out this purple attack you're losing the most damage out of your uh, rotation. So it's a really a pain with here. Uh, I'm doing uh, as a rotation, two cancel one, cancel three, cancel four, cancel five. You don't really need to delay any of the skills. And when you have your, t your awaken skill ready, you're doing two cancel one, awaken skill, uh, wait a bit, three cancel four, cancel five, every single time. If you have your tier four ready, you're starting with your tier 4, 2 cancel 1, cancel 3, cancel 4, cancel 5 because your tier 3 buffs you and gives you a buff every single time you're using other skills. So you want to use your tier 4 and you want to ball up all the skills and land the maximum damage in your 5th skill. So that's why you need to pay attention where uh, Surtur is going and when he's going to uh, move, go into the place that he's going to move and land your rotation there and the fifth skill exact in the, you know, in, in the place that Surtur is going to be landed. So yes, as you can see here, I am in the middle of the fight. I have done more than 4 million. I mean, there is people capping this stage with Sado Cell and uh, Brilliant Raids. So for sure, uh, my run is not one of these. <laughs> it's not one of the runs that I'm going to cap on ABL. And you can tell that because if you want to cap, you need to do at least 6 million or 6.5 in the middle of the five. And for my case here, it's like 2 million uh, less. I did like 4 million in the middle of the fight. 
uh, because I lost some fifth skills there because Surtur removed. I lost some rotations there uh, because I'm bad. And yeah, you can see here 5.3 here. But you know, if you if your gameplay it's pretty much the same, whatever you're using, the results are going to be the same. So yeah. Previously, I used my Thanos and my Gamora with the same power level, you know, level 80 both, both Mighty Rages, medium builds, it's not like crazy builds on known of hits, uh, but here Shadow Cell, it's way better, supposed to be way better than my Gamora, you know, and let's check out, because Gamora is level 80 and Shadow Cell is tier 4, that's the main reason but as you can see here i managed to do like 6.7 6.7 million or something 6.69 million basically uh which is really decent in my book you know i, I built the shadow cell just to cap the days and being able to progress through my abl score so yeah she's making me proud every single time the max score i have pulled out is like 7.8 7.9 but this scores needs to play over and over again and it's really annoying to pull them out so yes it is what it is so yeah let's go into gamora hero so here it's not fair as i told you uh that gamora is uh, only level 80 and only um basically this is not tier 4 and sado cell it is tier 4 with, with the her uniform, uh, with her hero uniform, her rotation, it's pretty much more complicated than the previous one. Here I'm doing three, cancel six, cancel four, delay cancel into one and letting the damage place into my fifth skill. After I doing two, cancel one every single time and to do the canceling, I'm swapping into Suri here just to be able to have the fracture ability with her third skill. Uh, here, as you can see, Gamora with her uh, fifth skill follows the enemy, so she's way easier than Shadow Cell to play, 100%. But you can see three cancel four, delay cancel until you see her hit the boss with her fourth skill, and after one cancel five, letting the fifth skill place until the end, and two cancel one for uh, you know to charge more to charge faster your mighty raids probably basically and yes you can see here with the odin force i managed to pull out an awakened skill i had hold it and here another fifth skill and you can see here damage is juicy with my shadow cell and crappy rotation i was able to do 4 million in this period of time 4.2 or something and with here 3.6 for a level 80 it's really impressive and of course, I'm saying that in the same time when uh, there is guys, you know, if you go into my Discord, there is a guy, me here, he's a hacker, he's having uh, with, <laughs> no, he's not a hacker, but uh, he's managing to do with Suri 7 million. So yeah, there is guys doing with Suri 7 million on this stage, of course. Uh, but yes, in the same time, you know, uh, for the normal people that just plays one or two or three runs, that's my case here. <laughs> that uh, you don't really need to play over and over or you don't need to be hacker to have the, the 7 million with Suri. So yes, here you can see the score is really impressive, to be honest. I mean, I have already passed through 4 million, easy peasy. I'm into 4.5 and yes, let's go. I can do more than 5 for sure. I'm close to 6 as it seems. Let me check here. Okay, I forget my awaken and I press it later on, but still. And I'm gonna be able to pull out another rotation. Okay, 5.6 million. 5.6 million with Gamora, uh, with her hero uniform, it's not, you know, it, it's not a huge deal, but it is a deal. You know, having a character being able to be close to Thanos with his Crystal Wall uniform and Shadow Cell Tier 4, it's really impressive. And in my mind, you know, Gamora can't really replace Shadow Cell 100% or Black Widow 100%. 
but in the same time if you have already a tier 4 uh, speed type Gamora can come and gives you even more out of your account if you also have his hair basically old uniform you can have even more results for multiple ABX and ABL and all these stages 25 stages I saw you from world boss legend so yes for the for the this excel google sheet that you i saw you i have done for every single character and now we are like in 23 tier 4 characters and you need to pay attention on all these you know uh, tags and how you are going to use the character if you want to build uh, a tier 4 or not in my opinion gamora totally worth it even if she's not covering all the states that Saducel and Black Widow covers, only the fact that she got all these juicy tags for World Boss Legend and the, the ability that she has to be a villain also with her old uniform, it's really important. And with a tier 4, she's going to skyrocket her, out, her performance also. So yes, it is what it is. That is probably the last video of Gamora at the moment. I'm not gonna push her more, you know, uh, because it feels like I'm doing only Gamora content and it's it's the same about my boy Groot, but, you know, I feel like the vibe of people wanna go for min max on their account. They want to invest crystals to get the maximum out of their account. And yes, I have to tell you that Gamora can provide you that. Gamora can provide you the min max on your account because of her tags and because of her awesome damage. I hope you enjoyed guys. See you into the next and don't forget to let me know what are you going to do with your Gamora down below into the comments. In the description is going to be the Google sheet so you can read it yourself and also don't sleep on the crystal coupon giveaway. Kisses in your faces!